So we're still working on the shed and Tim um, called and got the rock for the floor in the shed for now. And so now he's uh, going bucket full by bucket full and trying to unload. He'll have to tell you about how much per bucket the tractor will hold. So there he goes into the shed. So he's bringing that bucket full by bucket full and laying it down in the, the shed to make a nice floor for the shed for now. We'll probably, I don't know if it's four inches thick he's going to do this, maybe. And then maybe in the spring or something or sometime next year, have him come in with uh, concrete trucks. So there's neighbor Bob. He's out to watch all the fun goings on. It's beginning to rain just a little bit. They had three great days, pretty much. It's uh, November, early November. Three great days of being able to build the shed. It was in the 70s for most of the days. Today, I think, was high 60s, low 70s. just told Tim that he was getting pretty tired so he's going inside. Bob's a good companion for our projects. see the old tarp shed still setting up right out there. I'm not sure what's in it. There may be uh, some leftover stuff.
know your mother will probably watch this. Oh, that's right. comes home I don't know what time it is but she gets home at 630 and if she's like me she'll be wondering where her parking place is and why did it get uh, blocked by a bunch of rock but he might be able to get a lot of it by then it's probably after 5 it may be 530 but anyway it doesn't take him very long to come around get a scoop and then take it to the back and dump it. Um, probably the neighbors are hoping we get this out of the street sooner rather than later. It's doing pretty good. There's still a good bit of um, rock left out there, and obviously it's not even all over the place, but it's fairly good coverage. have to do the hard work and he gets to ride the tractor. Not really. Sometimes I get to drive the tractor, like when we moved the other shed. 